Hi, so this is Colin Bales, and let's see if we can answer this, help you with this, I can help you with this question. Now, you're, what you're trying to see is what is this, is this low spin or is this high spin? But, so you have several choices. You have iron three, manganese three, cobalt two, iron two, and ruthenium three. Here's what you need to ask yourself. What type of transition metal is this? Is this as in, is it D1, D2, T, D3, D4, D5, etc., etc.? Because that will determine whether or not you're dealing with something similar. So, for example, if I remember correctly, so D4 to D7 can be either high spin or low spin, whilst D1 to D3, I believe, I could have this wrong, is considered low spin. To be, there's only one possible confirmation, as well as through, for D8 through D10. So D8 and through D10, they both have the same property. They can be either or, but there's only one possible confirmation. D4 and D through D7 can be considered both, depending on what type of ligand this is. Now, water itself is. Is it a strong field ligand or a weak field ligand? Remember correctly, it is a weak field ligand. Let me check, let me check that real quick. Yep, it, it is a weak field ligand. So that means it favors high spin. So we need now so we need to know that all these are Hexa aqua. So that means we have to look at the actual metal itself. So now let's look at what's the one, one of the ones you think. Of. Let's look at manganese three. Now normally manganese is a D5 electron. So we have 3s2, or I'm me, 4s2, 3d5. That's supposed to be 10, not 5. It's supposed to be, supposed to be 5, not 10. All right, so 3D5. This is the, the ground state electron configuration for manganese. Remove 3. Here is the new configuration. 3D4. Manganese is a D4 ion. Manganese 3 is a D4 ion. So this is either or. Let's look at ruthenium 3. Ruthenium has, so RU has, I wish I could see that. Now, ruthenium is a group below, a group below iron, so that's 44. So 44. All right, that means that it's going to be 5S. Two, four, D, six. Remove three electrons and you get a D, five ion. Now let's look. So here is what that will look like. So here is manganese three. We need to figure out what's the best way. So it could be one of two things. It could be this. This is if it's low spin. High spin would be one second. So this is if it's high spin. This can move to here to here. This one has much more unpaired electrons. This is less stable, it's more reactive. This is more stable. Now let's look at ruthenium. Since D5 can also be multiple places. So D5, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is the high spin for ruthenium. Let's look at low spin.
All right. That's basically the strategy, what you would have to do. You would have to look at, okay, what type of IO am I dealing with? Is it What type of D is it? And then write out the electrons. Look for the one with the lowest number of unpaired electrons. Sorry, this took a little bit longer than I expected. Have a good day. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Goodbye. Thank you.